Good afternoon. We're going to talk about two vulnerabilities that affect all of us Apple and Android users. An article by Futurism has described two vulnerabilities that have just recently been discovered. One is called Meltdown and the other one is called Spectre. The audio in this video is going to be a little off and maybe for the next couple of videos because Jason took my camera to Washington DC to vlog a little bit and get some pictures. Project Zero, which is a team of analysts composed by Google in 2014, have found these two vulnerabilities and this affects the majority of computers, cell phones, and tablets produced over the last 20 years. So this is something that's so base level that it predates the smartphone. They dubbed the first one Spectre, and it says it gives attackers a way to track otherwise error-free programs and or to trick otherwise error-free programs into sharing information by breaking the isolation between various applications. So it's like poking holes in the walls between apps and being like, Psst, hey, bro, give me that. Okay, cool. But, psst, hey, check this out. I got it from this guy. It says Spectre affects almost every computing system, desktops, laptops, cloud servers, and smartphones, and has been verified on CPUs manufactured by ARM, Intel, and AMD. So basically we're all <laughs> Not really though. The other one they called Meltdown, and, it's a, and it corrects the divide between user applications and an operating system. By exploiting Meltdown, a hacker can use one program to access the memory of another program or a device's OS. So instead of poking the hole in the wall between apps, this guy just like goes clickety-click and man. <laughs> so far, Project Zero researchers have only verified it on Intel CPUs. Hmm, interesting. I have an Intel CPU. They first discovered these flaws in June 2017. What the f didn't you tell us first? And the plan was for the tech company to disclose them to the public on January 9th, 2018. What in the f It's like It's like when Home Depot and Zales discovered those those credit card, uh, what's the word, breaches, and waited until Target saw it and immediately said, hey, everybody, your red cards got compromised. Sorry. And then Zales are like, Zales and Home Depot are like, um, we did two, a few months ago. It says the purpose behind the secrecy was to give companies time to address the issues before news about them spread, but rumors and early reports pushed the reveal up to January 3rd. 2018. Sounds like they were trying to do panic management, but still. According to the project team, according to the to, bleh, according to Project Zero's report, this gives hackers a way to steal a device's entire memory contents. Right now, the best fix for it is a software known as Kaiser, K I, no K K A I S E R. It's a software patch devised by researchers at Graz University of Technology in Austria to address a different issue. However, the patch might come with a catch. Patch has got a catch. Hey, watch the coffee, kitty cat. This is hilarious. It reportedly causes systems to run up to 30% slower. Cat. Spectre is proving to be even more formidable, they say, and the only fix may be redesigning the processors. Well, that's easy. We'll just open up the computer, pop out the chip, and then rearrange a few transistors and there you go. That's not cool at all. So Spectre can't even really be fixed, which is probably why Apple hasn't released their patch for Spectre yet. They actually did send out their their meltdown patch in December of 2017, if I'm not mistaken. It says, as the Internet of Things continues to grow, hackers have more and more avenues and opportunity by which to access our personal information and their right meaning securing that information will only become more and more vital. Well, duh, I mean, the next war will be fought with ones and zeros instead of shells and bullets, most likely. I say that. I'm just quoting somebody there, actually. <laughs> Thankfully, the Project Zero team says it has not found any evidence of anybody using these vulnerabilities, but now that information about these flaws is widely known, that could be subject to change. That's what I'm wondering, like, or what I was thinking, like, after reading this, because this is the first time I've read this, after reading this, my initial reaction was, why the f didn't you tell us first but after that I'm like probably a good idea to not say about it because now all the hackers that weren't aware of this are like Ooh. you smell that smells like opportunity
Thankfully, Linux, Android, Apple's Mac OS, and Microsoft's Windows 10 have already pushed fixes to address these new security issues. So the best course of action is to ensure all of your devices are using the most up-to-date version of their operating system. But if you have an iPhone, that might present some difficulties in and of itself, just because of how Apple likes to <laughs> you in the ass <clears throat> with software updates by outmoding your phone. But that's a topic for a different video. I'm also delighted to inform you that before the first day of the official Patreon launch phase is even over, we have four patrons. Three of them are Scotties, which is currently the top tier in Beam Dump's Patreon page. And one of them upgraded from a Beamer to a Super Beamer. Like, holy sh**, those benevolent human beings are. Christopher Caswell has been there since before day one. Mr. John O'Brien and Unit Omega. This, this guy's thumbnail cracks me to f*** up, dude. All three of you, my Scotty is like, holy f man. I stay with my Scotty. My Scotty's on my board. I ride with that. And I put that on the generation. I am so f grateful for you. Thank you. And also, let's not forget Patrick Hayes. Patrick Hayes upgraded from a Beamer to a Super Beamer. So he's like, hey, you know what? Thank you, Mr. Patrick. Patrick's been around for a while too, even before Patreon. So, hey, you guys, thank you so much. Now, I will say that as the patron number grows, I will have to start, I will have to like do the whole on screen and audible mention for just the Scotties because there simply will not, will just, it will take an exorbitant amount of time. But you, everybody from Super Beamer and up will get on screen credit somewhere in the video. I'm overwhelmingly grateful for you and continue to stay big. Also, the Beamed Up Swag store is operational, so if you want to get any kind of shirt or hoodie or hat or you can even cup, beamedup.com and go to store. There you can order anything you want.